All right, welcome back to the van bills. So I think in this video, I'm gonna try to get my walls up and then maybe start building my bed frame in the back, which I would be so excited to get started on. But you guys just saw me haul that big piece of plywood out and that is 7 16 plywood. I assume that's of an inch, probably, layers, I don't know. 7 16 OSB plywood that I'm going to be using to add like supports on my wall so I have somewhere to screw all of my like wood into. So my plan is I'm going to cut up my plywood into three inch strips. I'm going to use two layers of that to like bend to the curves of my van because my van is curves, it's not super simple. And then I'm gonna have somewhere to screw all of the rest of my wood into and also do all of my wiring. So, let's get to it. I'm so mad. I literally bought eye protection glasses because my eyes were covered in sawdust last time I did this. And I purchased them and they're not in my bag. So, that's really disappointing. Better than nothing. And so now this is what my walls are looking like. And so as you can see, they are curved. And for some of them, I had to use these supports so that they didn't go in so far. And so that they would match up with the other ones that weren't that curved. And around the wheel, I added some of these little supports so that I would have somewhere to screw these little parts in before I get all the way around the wheel. And then because the top of my van's a little funky, because I do have the added topper, and this is where the original top of the van was, um, I have this like weird lip here, so I only went up to that lip because I think I'm going to be adding something kind of like this as a little shelf. And so now I can start adding in my insulation and putting up my siding. I'm so excited. Alright, so for my insulation, I got this thermofiber stuff, which is apparently like, um, it's called a mineral wool, so I think it's like some sort of rock that's spun into fiber, and apparently it's good insulation and it's not fiberglass. Still want to wear protective stuff while working with it, but so I'm going to be using that to insulate my walls. It's also supposed to be really good for um, noise. So I'm just going to put it in my walls and then put up all of my um, cedar boards. Like a little mouse building my den though. I feel like I look like it too. It's gonna be really nice when you get that wall done. I know.
right now I am driving down to Mako to get an estimate for how much it would be to paint my van because I'm kind of at the point where I have to decide if I am going to get it painted or if I'm going to do it myself and I know that Mako doesn't have a very good rep but I'm not super picky so I'm gonna just see what they say and kind of go from there I think so wish me luck Yeah, so that was not what I was hoping for. He uh, quoted me for $6,000 and it's gonna take three weeks, which is not in my budget or really my time frame. I mean, like the time isn't a huge deal, but it's really not ideal. So I might go home and buy a spray gun. <laughs> like a part of me is like, maybe I'll just leave the red, but like, I just, I don't love it. I'm getting used to it, but I don't love it. I kind of want it to be something else. Yeah, that's that's where I'm at. This is a very exciting day because I'm gonna start my bed frame finally. These are this is my plan, um, and I'm just gonna go for it. So, Dad's helping me set up all the good tools, and I'm just gonna kind of wing it because I don't really know what I'm doing. making it worse. That's pretty damn close. So I just kind of laid out my first pieces and I think that's what I'm going with. This is pre-drilling my holes so that I can put them in at an angle easier.
but I was like, like, should I try it? Here. Okay. This right here already has slides. Love door slides. This is gonna be a little table, so I can sit and I can like cook or eat right here. That's great. On this, and then there's gonna be another door on top of it. That's very cute. Cool. Is that exciting? I'm so happy. I finally finished my bed and it looks so good. Um, so I finished putting in all the supports and extra supports where my other slides are going to attach. And I'm really, really happy. So now I think I'm going to either work on some more siding or I also picked up the floors yesterday and I'm really, really pumped to get those in. But I'm a little bit scared because I really don't wanna like drop a power tool and scratch them. That would just be really unfortunate. So I might do some more siding now because it's uneven. cheaper you get the OSB board than this one. What is that? Yeah, this is a zip board that's forty six dollars and forty fifteen dollars. Give you more than half in me. I could give you more than half in me.
so good I'm so happy I made these little cutout drawers and I'm going to add hinges so that I can flip these up for my storage it's not very easy right now and then I have one over there too so I can reach like the underside and it looks so good I'm so happy I'm gonna have to sleep sideways worth it it takes to be Give you more than half Well, and I said it earlier, but I think that the bed frame is like actually done now. Like, not the bed frame, like the whole bed is done except for the very front because I don't have enough plywood to finish that yet and I don't want to get a whole nother sheet until I have like more to use it for. So, we're calling it done for now. I really, really love how it turned out. I have a bunch of like storage over here that's super easy to access. Um, and I'm going to store my batteries and the boots down there. And then, like you guys just saw, I have this, like, flip-up one over here that's going to help me, like, access the harder-to-reach areas. And then I have another one that lifts up over here. And then on this side, we're going to have my pull-out drawers. And it looks really good. I'm really, really happy with it right now. Alright, so now I'm going to be starting on the cabinets, um, and again, here are my very loose plans for that. And for this part, I'm going to be using just a whole bunch of 1x2s, and it's honestly going to be pretty similar of a process to making my bed, I think, where I'm just going to like make a frame and then cover it in plywood. So again, I'm just winging it. Let's put one by twos together. Do they go like this? Or should they go like that? Hey, I have a question. So that's where your marks are going to go? Right down there. Alright, so I made my frame out of the 1x2s, 
and I'm not very happy with it. I think it's a little too flimsy. So, and also it kept splitting every time I wouldn't pre-drill it. I, I just didn't like it. So I just ran to Lowe's, picked up some two by twos, and now I'm going to be using those instead to make the exact same frame that I just made. That better be 20 inches. Well, it's better to put it in half. We're supposed to put it in half. We were supposed to cut it in half. That's why I was so confused. That's, I kept looking at that going, this isn't right. I was saying it wasn't right either. I read the 28 there. It doesn't have 28. Okay, Let's well, see how we can salvage it. That's only 20. It's not even 20 and a half. Are you serious? It's confusing. I told you there are things about this that I haven't figured out yet. That doesn't look right. That doesn't look right. You're making me nervous now. No, you're absolutely good to question. How is it at 28 now? How is this happening right now? I put it here. What's our max? Oh, 
There's what is. There's, there's, there's another set. We can no. see when this was on. Wow, we fucked up real bad. You got all your pieces for your doors. <laughs> and we don't have pipe clamps. Huh? So I'm talking to the camera, Dad. So uh, we might run the hardware store and grab clamps so that it actually goes in because I'm a little worried. This one made wider so yeah this one's much easier. <laughs> Well, I just finished putting the cabinets together and with that I think that's where I'm going to be ending this video um, I feel like I got a good portion of the building done and I'm really happy with the state it's at now I'm honestly like so proud of how these cabinets came out um, But yeah, so I guess I'll give you guys a little tour of everything I did in this video and then stay tuned because there's still so much more to do <laughs> But as always, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!